welcome back to my channel this is Ada's all the DIYs where you will find me doing DIYs hauls um, and makeovers goodwill Salvation Army savers goodwill you know just makeovers um, so for today I have a DIY and I have some Waverly moss chalk paint um, also have the Waverly chalk paint in walnut, hazelnut, hazelnut. I think it's a nice color. Um, these are to give away because they don't go with my, just my color of that for my house. I also have some matte Mod Podge. Um, I have these little blocks and I have a total of six of them. Um, they're from Crafter Square, and I also have my glue gun. I have my scrape, scrapey, scrapey here. Um, I have these rub-on transfers. Look how beautiful they are. Y'all, I've been looking for these, like, sorry for the light, forever. And I found them. Um... I'm not sure if I'm going to be using these exact ones, but I have these from last year and I have a lot of these from last year. So these are not rubber transfers, these are stickers. Um, look at that cheap, look at that, look at that. Oh my God, it's so cute. Yeah, so I am going to, let's get into it. Okay. So if at the end of this video you like my content, please give me a big thumbs up. It helps my channel grow and YouTube just notice me just a little bit more. Also, subscribe, join the family. What are you waiting for? Also, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. With that being said, let's just get right into it. Okay. So, we're going to be taking these stickers off of these little blocks. I'm pretty sure they come off pretty easy. And excuse my nails. I haven't done my nails. I just took off the nail polish last night. And I couldn't find my nail polish to put it back on. Well, this they have two stickers on them? Yeah, they do. Some of them do, I guess. Yep. I'm glad these stickers are pretty good to take off. Sometimes stickers from the Dollar Tree are so freaking hard to take off. Ridiculous. So, I'm going to color three in the moss and three in the hazelnut. I don't like to say that word hazelnut, but hazelnut. Okay, so let me mix this paint really well. I'm going to color one so you guys can see. And then off camera, I will not get you guys so bored of watching what I'm doing. So, um, we'll start with this beautiful moss. I think it's so beautiful for now for fall. This color is so gorgeous. It is. It is really gorgeous for fall. Um, but my color in my house is more like of a teal than a moss. Wait a minute. I feel like there's another sticker here. I didn't see that one. I didn't see that one. Okay. Just want to get them over and done with. So I can give them to the person I said I was going to give them to. And I want you to see how they turn out. And you let me know in the comments what you think about them. If they came out okay. If you would... Do them for yourself, maybe in a different color. 
Um, let me know what you think. Yep. I love Waverly Chalk Paint. It has such good coverage. I don't want to mess the paint up, but I guess I'm going to have to. Sorry if the camera's shaking a little bit. I'm trying to get um, better <sighs> camera stuff, but let me tell you. Every time I try to get something, it ends up being no good. So... One down, three to go. And I'll be moving right back with these three. I'm back. I'm going to finish this video. Um, I decided what I wanted to do with these. And um, what I'm going to do is I am going to make them into pumpkins. Yes, pumpkin. So, I put some glue on there. Put this one this way. Some glue on here. Stack this one this way. Next one is the. Let's see how the best way it looks. Okay, so we'll do this side. There we go. There. And this one this way. And I put enough glue around it. And this is just for video purposes. So. And then I'll be adding the rest. I'm going to make these into pumpkins. I decided already what I'm going to do. So I have two stems here. I'm just going to hot glue them to the top there. Don't worry about the glue. It's going to be covered. But I just want to make sure it has enough coverage on it. Where it's not going to fall off. And my niece has it over there. So I have this um wired juke want wired juke cord you can see it wired juke cord so i'm gonna use the wired juke cord i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do with it and these are not big big pumpkins so i am going to Okay, where's this one up? Because it's like unwinding. All right, I'm gonna do it without the scissors. Okay, so this one's kind of unwinding there. I'm just gonna glue it back to where it's supposed to go. Have it glued there. there. So I'll be cutting this one down here. And what I'll be doing is I'll be putting it around one of the paint brushes to make it into a little swirl. Look at it, it's unwinding. It is unwinding. Let me see, I gotta straighten it out to fix this side. I'm not gonna deal with that. I'll just cut another piece off. Hopefully, it's not unwinded at the end. Let me make sure it gets glued down. Because I don't want it to unwind. There. 
We'll just cut it right there. And it's unwinding already. But you can wind it back. Just gonna push it down just a little bit and wind it back. I don't know why it's doing that to me. The first time that I have this, well, that I work with this, yeah, I've gotten burnt like 50 million times already today, but it's okay. It happens. What can we do? So I'm gonna wind this one back in before it unwinds. And get burned again and put it right back. Don't mind me, y'all. I'm crazy. Ouch, 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 ouch. But I gotta put it back. I wanna do it back. Yeah. yeah. The glue is stuck to my finger. This is real hot. This, this, this glue gun does not have a temperature of, um, I need something more thinner. I'm going to like stack the knife. So I can make the twirl small, not so big. could get it back. Could be nice, thank you. Alright, make it a little stretched out. And put it I don't like this side, so I'm gonna put this side in there. Y'all just saw that? I just blowed on my damn glue gun. I don't know why, but I did. I'm just wanting, just trying to get that the little spring to stick there. There. I'm trying to put it to the side so it goes down to the side. Where's the other one? Here it is. There. Let me see, because this one was kind of unwinding as well. This one's gonna be smaller. Oh my goodness. Look at all this webbing. Okay, move over here. Let's get this one over here. I'm just gonna have the metal part of it. I'm just gonna like put it right there. And put the glue on it. Just because I feel like I've been putting so much glue on it. But it's, it unwinded down here. Just gonna put a little bit of glue on it. To glue it back. There. And I have these beautiful flowers here that I will be putting one flower and the leaves of the flower with on the top of each one of these little pumpkins for my um my niece's um she's she has um farmhouse as well in her house so rustic so I'll go good with her decor as well I don't know if I should cut this yeah I think I gotta cut that off so I'm gonna glue this but I'm gonna glue it like over here because the flower is really big and I know it's gonna cover it 
So I'll put this over here and you can at least see, well, she can at least see the, the flower. I'm gonna put it right here. one of them. I think you just put the flower down right there like that. See? So you can see how much of a nice pumpkin it is. I hope she likes it. I made it with lots of love and lots of time. flower I don't know these flowers are like they're like squished or something this one looks beautiful I'm just gonna put it down down I'm not gonna um like try to scale it up I'm gonna put it like down like down like down so it like as he seems to me well. The end of it all, y'all. I feel like I should like dust these off a little bit with the... I don't know why I gotta be so extra. But Rustic is rustic, so I always, I mean, I, just want them, I don't want them to be so shiny. Oh, I just overdid it. Now they look like they got poop on them. Yep. This one will be so shiny, just to take the shine off a little bit from it. There. Just because I don't like that shine. There, there they are. My two little Cuba pumpkins. So cute, aren't they so cute? What do you think about that? You can make pumpkins out of anything you want. So, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. So this is the end of the video. Sorry for the noise, my dogs are out. Um, so if you like what you saw, what you just saw on my channel, duh, what you just saw on my channel, please give me a thumbs up, post my channel go and no YouTube notice me just a little bit more. Also, subscribe. What are you waiting for? And join the family. Also, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. With that being said, bye mi amores, till my next video. I love you all. Bye.